Hey everyone, this is Kate Schwanky, and I have a special release day video for you guys today. Jujube just sent me this beautiful new print called Queen Bee. This is a collaboration print between Lauren Saylor of A Fabulous Feet and Jujube. And she is a wonderful calligrapher. She does beautiful work. And she's actually going to be designing my new header for my channel. And I'm super excited about that. Um, so I just wanted to talk about real quick what this bag says on it. The bag actually has all these really positive and encouraging words on there like be successful, be smart. So I really really like that it's called Queen Bee because it really does make you feel encouraged when you read the words and just makes you want to be those things. So I really really like that. What I'm doing with this video today is I'm going to be doing a packing video for you guys showing you how I pack the Jujube Hobo Bee. And then I'm going to be doing an on the body video so you guys can see this print and the bag on the body. So let's get started. So this is the packing portion of this video and as you can see, you can see all of the great words that are written on the front of the bag here. My prominent words are be ready, be stylish, be bold, be successful. I really, really love all these awesome words um, on the front of this bag. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I have this beautiful bag packed up. Um, the very first thing on the front here is I have my new Fob by Andrea here. It's super pretty. I actually just got this in a couple of days ago and I love it. So that is the first thing. I just have that on the very front zipper pull here of this long zipper pocket. On the sides of the bag, there are two nice bottle pockets. And this side here, I just have a small set piece in the first lady print. And in here I just have some custom stroller clips. These are in the Empress print and these are made by Shine On Designs on Facebook. They're great, I love them. They fit awesome in a small set piece. That's all I had in that pocket there. On the very back here, this is the change pad pocket. It normally comes with a light change pad which I actually put inside the bag. Um, so in this pocket instead I have my small little med kit here. This is a pup made by Silly Stuff and Whatnot, and this is in the Perky Toki print. I absolutely love this. Works amazing as a med kit. Right next to that I have a little pack of wet ones, and that is all I have in the back pocket there. On this pocket here I just have a little hand sanitizer from The Honest Company. And I have a pack of gum for myself. Normally I would keep these things in the mommy pocket, but the mommy pocket on the Hobo Bee is a little smaller than I'm used to, so those things made it into the bottle pockets instead. So in the very front here, actually I'm going to go over the um, phone pocket first, because Jujube actually made a new phone pocket. It is bigger than it used to be, and I think that is fabulous. So I have an iPhone 6, and GGB says that this pocket is plenty big enough for an iPhone 6 Plus and phones that are in similar size. So this is my iPhone 6. No problem. Room to spare in there. And I really wanted to show you guys how big this pocket is, um, but it's actually sewn to the bottom of the bag now, so you can't pull it out to show anything. But I actually really like that it's sewn down. That way, when you pull out your phone, nothing else comes with it. It's not like the pocket's coming out. So that is a new feature, too. I wish I could show you, but I can actually fit my whole hand opened wide like this inside that pocket, which is amazing. And I have room. I, I don't really have that big of hands, but, but still, that's a lot of space. So that's awesome. That's all I had in that pocket there, but I could totally fit more. In the very front pocket here, I have my keys on the key fob here. I also have my wallet. This is a full-size Kate Spade wallet. And there are two mesh pockets here, and I have something in each of those. On this side here, I have a small Enzio coin purse, and in here I just have punch cards and insurance cards and things like that, and some change in the back change pocket there. On this side, I have my custom-made tissue holder in the Admiral print, and this is made by Little E Designs on Etsy. And that is all I have in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift up the camera so you guys can see how I have the inside packed. So now that I have the top of the bag exposed here, I would really, really like to show you guys what exactly I can fit into this new phone pocket. I actually discovered that you can fit a whole medium set piece that's totally packed in this pocket, which is amazing. That's, that tells you how big this really is. 
So um, I don't have anything in the front pocket right now, so I'll be able to show you. I have a Marquise medium set piece here. As you can see, it's pretty packed, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that it can fit in here. You just put it in on an angle, squish it down a little bit, and it fits. If that shows you just how big it is, that's pretty awesome. And you can close it right on top of it, no problem. But of course, you would have to have nothing in the front pocket. So, pull it out, no problem. I think that's pretty awesome, I don't know about you. <laughs> so, on to the inside. I just love all these words all over the bag. Be bold, be extraordinary, be wild. What is this one? Be original. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, so on to the inside. I'm still discovering new words on my bag. All right, so this is what I have on the inside. This is how I have it set up. Um, as you can see, I only decided to use two pouches in here. The Hobo Bee is smaller than the BFF, so I don't use as many pouches in it. I like to use the internal organization instead because it has a really great internal organization. So on the side over here first, I have a few snacks and things. I have a ready-made milk by Enfamil. This is also packed up for my one and a half year old, if I didn't mention that already. I have a little Inno Baby snack tower piece here, and this has Cheerios in it. And then I have a little Be Neat Vib by GGB. That's all I had in this pocket over here. Onto this pocket here, I have a little pair of pants rolled up. This is for my one and a half year old. And then I have some socks for him and a little shirt rolled up. And that was over there. I actually put something in this back zipper pocket here, which I don't normally do. But if this is actually a really great place to keep this. I have a play pack for him. And this just keeps him busy when we're out. This pouch here, this is my Empress large set piece. It's gorgeous. I love this print so much. And it actually looks really great with this print too. So... So in here I have a booty pod. I do not have a booty pod cover in Legacy Prints yet, but I have one coming to me, so um, I didn't add one on here. But I love booty pods. They're perfect for holding wipes and keeping your stuff nice and moist still, so I really like that. Also in here I have two size four diapers for my son. I have a baggie dispenser, and I have a Queen Bee light change pad. And that fits great in the large set piece there. Look how beautiful those prints are. If you guys want to see more prints combined with the Queen Bee, you can go over to Gator Mom's channel, and she is going to do print comparisons with this print. In this pocket right here, I have a small set piece in the Empress print. And here I just have things for me. I have an EOS stick, Clinique lip gloss, some eye drops, a really, really cute little mirror made by Deliriously Mine on Facebook. In the Perky Toki print, of course, with Donatella. And then I have a hairbrush. The only thing I have left to go through is over here in this back pocket over here. And in here, I just have my phone charger. This is an on-the-go charger. I got this at Best Buy. A lot of people ask me where I got this. I got it at Best Buy, and it's really awesome. It charges super fast, so if I'm ever out and about and I run out of power on my phone, I'll just plug this into my phone, and it really charges fast, so it's awesome. So that is all I have in the bag, and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you are thinking about getting this print or just getting this bag, it is a beautiful, inspiring print. I really love it. I hope you guys will check out Gator Mom's video too for the print comparisons and also hang in there for a couple more minutes and you can watch my on the body video for the Queen Bee. Thanks for watching.